four times a year, the FTSE 100 index gets a reshuffle. In this video, I'll reveal which two companies are entering the top flight and which two are getting booted out. <laughs> this is not investment advice, so please do your own research. The FTSE 100 is an index of the 100 largest companies by capitalization listed on the London Stock Exchange. The index is reshuffled on a quarterly basis in March, June, September and December. Being a member of this exclusive index is a very positive thing for the company and usually brings with it a further increase in the price of the shares. The simple reason for this is that a lot of large funds have to buy the recently added shares. Passive funds such as index funds and ETFs have to adjust their portfolio to include the new companies. These companies will already have done well in order to get promoted, but now they are in even higher demand, so the momentum should continue. Likewise, a company that gets relegated out of the FTSE 100, passive funds sell shares, creating downward pressure on the prices. But it's not just passive managers. Active fund managers using the index as a benchmark may also feel the need to buy any new additions and sell those that are removed. And in a similar vein, when a stock is removed from the index, it is no longer part of that benchmark, which could encourage some fund managers to sell. Be aware, before you rush out and buy companies you suspect might be promoted or demoted, keep in mind that prices may already reflect these expectations to some degree. Markets are forward-looking and investors may already have been buying or selling in advance and this will of course have some effect. So let's look at the demotion candidates. Narrowly escaping demotion this time are British Land, Pearson and ITV. However, the two companies for the chop are Dark Trace and Johnson Matthey. It's been a quarter to forget from Darktrace, a self-learning AI cybersecurity company based in Cambridge. The stock initially jumped 40% on its market debut, followed by a surge to the top flight in September. The company's shares fell 30% in the past month, suffering a 25% drop in one day when Peel Hunt, a broker, suggested the stock was overvalued. Still, despite Darktrace leaving the FTSE 100, it's not all bad news. They have reported some upbeat trading figures, strong sales and the ongoing shift to all things digital may mean that Darktrace may not stay outside the top flight for too long. The other company heading for demotion is the chemicals company Johnson Matthey. Its misfortunes have primarily come from its exit from the electric battery market and instead a renewed focus on catalytic converters for internal combustion engines. Investors clearly question the logic of this, causing its shares to plunge by more than 16%. Operating profit also fell 71% for the first half of the year, which has put further downward pressure on Johnson Matthey shares. And now for the promotion candidates. Narrowly missing out on promotion this time are Airtel Africa, FNC Investment Trust and Howden Joinery Group. The two companies being promoted to the FTSE 100 this time are Electro Components and Decra Pharmaceuticals. Electro Components PLC creates industrial electronic products and solutions and is enjoying a bumper year. Pre-tax profits for the first half of the year are up 91% and the share price is up 35% over the last year. Demand for electrical parts shows little sign of slowing down and this company is in a very robust position. So it's a warm welcome to the FTSE 100 for electro components. The second company being promoted to the top flight is Decra Pharmaceuticals. The company specialises in pharmaceuticals for the pet market and has benefited from a wave of demand linked to increased growth in pet ownership. According to the Pet Food Manufacturers Association, 3.2 million UK households acquired a pet in the last months after the onset of the pandemic. First half revenues have increased 21% and the share price is up 47% this year. If you found this video useful, then please give it the thumbs up. 
and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.